Hey guys, welcome back. I found a road. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the difference between formal English and casual English. Some of the differences. Now before we get started with that, make sure, if you haven't already, that you subscribe so that you can see my other videos when they come out. Also, we're doing a giveaway this week, so if you want to win a free course, then make sure Make sure you leave a question in the comments and you have a chance to win. Okay, so the question is from Abner and the question is, what is the difference between formal and casual English? Now there are many differences, but I'm going to talk about, I think, the two most important. The two most important are phrase and word choice and indirectness as opposed to directness. Okay. So let me explain each one. So let's talk about indirectness first compared to directness. When we're speaking with friends, family, we're being casual, we're being informal, right? So if we're asking for something, we might say, oh, hand, hand me that, hand me that cup, right? Hand me that, just say it directly. Or let's go, let's go, right? I want to leave now, <laughs> it's direct, <laughs> right? So we say things in a straight way often when we're speaking less formally, more casually. When we want to be more polite or more formal, we are generally going to be less direct. We might say things like, I was wondering, or I wonder if you could. We often use wonder as a way to move back from it a little bit and not be so straight, right? For example, I wonder if you could tell me what time the shop closes. I wonder if you could tell me what time the shop closes. Now, it's okay to say what time does the shop close. That's, that's fine, it's correct. But saying I wonder if you could tell me is making a request that sounds more polite and a little bit more formal. Instead of saying, wait, wait, right? Maybe a receptionist is speaking to me and she says, wait, I'll say, oh my God, so rude. Instead, she might say, do you think you could wait for a few minutes? Do you think you could wait for a few minutes? That's much less direct. Yes, I think I could, right? It sounds almost a little silly in that case, but that's the general idea. Less direct language, especially for giving information, for asking for information, for making requests, okay? Now, the other part of this is about word and phrase choice. There are some words and phrases that just feel more formal, feel more polite. There are some that just feel more casual, right? I'll give you a couple of examples. Let's say, due to instead of because. Now, often they have the same meaning. For example, I'm getting on a flight or I'm getting ready to fly somewhere and the person from the airline says, Due to poor weather conditions, due to poor weather conditions, the flight will be delayed. Due to poor weather conditions. And I might think as an English learner, why don't you just say because of bad weather, the flight will be delayed. Just say because, that's a word I know. Oh, good music. Well, because due to has that more formal feeling to it, right? Okay. Now you might think, well, can't there just be one? I'm sorry, languages don't work that way. We use different words in different situations to create different feelings. And the words that we use have a connotation, a connotation. That is the feeling that a word or phrase has in the way that it's used in society, in each culture, right? That is the connotation of the word, how it feels. We might say, could I have instead of can I have? Now that's not more or less direct, that's just one that sounds or has a connotation that's a little bit more formal. Could I please have instead of can I have, okay? Adding please definitely makes it more formal and using could makes it more formal. Would you mind is more formal as well. Now going back to the airline example, I'm on the airplane, I'm sitting there and the flight attendant says, we will be taking off momentarily. We will be taking off 
momentarily. Well, why doesn't she just say soon? We will be taking off soon. I know soon, just say soon. Well, momentarily, again, has a more formal feeling. It sounds a little more polite. You would say it to people you don't know well, right? We're leaving soon, we're leaving soon. Well, that's what I would say when I'm with my family or with my friends, okay? Now, this is a big topic, formal, casual English. It's a very big topic, so we can't cover everything. But hopefully that gives you an idea about the difference. Now, if you're serious about learning polite English, formal English, I will tell you about something. Can you guess? Okay, so I have a course, and it's really meant for people doing customer service, especially over the phone. But it has a lot of things in there about more formal English. So if you're interested in learning about that kind of thing, I would recommend checking out that course. It's in the link in the description of this video. You can check that out. It's called Customer Service English. I think it's how to be polite over the phone, something like that. Check that out. If you want to take the course, there is a discount code under the link. So you can use that and get a big discount, okay? So hopefully that answers your question. Abner, cool name. Thanks for asking. Guys, leave your questions in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.